Hello everyone, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan, and this video is a tour of Erin Condren's newest writing tools. We will take a look at the fine tip markers first. They come in a seven pack. This set includes fuchsia, hot pink, tangerine, gold, peacock, royal blue, and beet. This is the brights set. Here is what the tip looks like on the beet marker. It looks purple on the outside of the marker, but this is the one they call beet, and the top will fit on the end of your marker. We'll do a quick pen test. The ink does look a little closer to beet rather than purple once you use that marker. So we'll quickly run through the other six markers. And I'll show you up close what these ended up looking like. Gold showed up better than I thought it would. Hot pink is the most pale in this particular set. Here are the Erin Condren dual tip markers that some people have been asking, how do these compare to the new fine tip markers? And so I wanted to show you Oops, I'm a little bit off camera here. Hopefully you can see that. But I will do a pen test with the fine tip side of the dual tip markers in similar colors. But it's a very similar thickness. I would say that the new fine tip markers are just barely more fine than the fine tip on the dual tip markers. And here are two of the gold markers beside each other. So the fatter one is the dual tip marker and the more slender one is the new fine tip marker. And the barrel is a different feel. It's a more slender feel. It's a taller marker when you have these fine tip markers, just a little bit taller. They're both comfortable in your hand. I think I slightly prefer the, the new ones. And here are the other sets you can get. There are pastels and there are also these warm neutrals which I really want to get that set. And now we'll move on to the new colors of dual tip highlighters. In this pack of soft colors, we get five highlighters, and the colors are Melon, Flamingo, Butter, Spruce, and Seafoam. Seafoam is a repeat color from another set. So let's get in here and test all of these. The dual tip highlighters have a chisel tip on one side and a bold tip on the other. So that's the bold tip. And here's the chisel tip. So very much like mild liners. One thing that I'm not crazy about is that the tops don't fit on the bottom of the pen when you're writing. So just be careful that you don't misplace that top. This one is the spruce chisel tip, and then we'll try the bold tip. It's a really pretty color. So I really do love the muted tones of these highlighters, and my only complaint is that the tops don't um, kind of fit onto the other tops. It's not a huge deal, but I do love the colors. And this one is flamingo. It's interesting how as the color dries, it kind of settles into a more even look, I've noticed. Um, so that's just kind of interesting. But they're all very soft. None of them are super deep colors. And let's try butter next. So what I really hope, yeah, this is good. This is what I was hoping. I was not wanting one of those fluorescent yellows. This is more of a soft gold. It's not as dark as what I would call gold, but this is a really nice yellow. It's not like a neon yellow. It's more just a 
butter, like what it says. It's really pretty, calm. And this one is seafoam, which we have had before. It's really pretty. So the difference between seafoam and spruce is just that it's got a little hint of blue in it, whereas spruce is just green. And the last one is melon. And here I'm also hoping it won't be a neon or, yeah, this is great. It's not one of those really in your face orange highlighters. This is a soothing, calm orange. I really like this. I've been actually looking for one this color because the orange mild liner that I have is a little bit too fluorescent looking to me. So here they all are. They're just calm. And I just went ahead and wrote the, the name of each one so you can see clearly which is which. And here are the ones that I already had. So we had um, three other new colors and then the seafoam is a repeat color. It's a really nice set though. And look how pretty they are. They all have the mid-century circles design on the outside. pretty. And moving on now to the thin ballpoint pens, which come in a two pack like this. So they are rose gold and very slender. And they have a little Erin Condren asterisk on them. So let me show you that. See here, they are both very petite, but not short. They're just slender and they feel nice in your hand. If you want a more delicate pen, it's not a real heavy pen. You just twist it to extend the ballpoint tip and they feel nice and they look glamorous. And you guys know I am generally more of a gel pen person, but um, I do appreciate a decent ballpoint pen, especially when I'm writing over top of whiteout tape because it seems to work better than my gel pens. So here's a comparison with the asterisk rose gold pen that a lot of us have from Erin Condren. So the pen itself is longer than that pen if you don't count the asterisk embellishment on the other one. These are refillable and um, let's just give them a little test drive. Black ink. It just seems like a general um, ballpoint pen to me. It doesn't seem like it is different than most other ballpoint pens. There you go. Some people prefer a ballpoint pen over a gel. Um, my mother being one of them. She can't stand to write with a gel pen for some reason. It's just gel pens are too inky for her. So, and this one's also black ink. Writes exactly like the other one. There you go. But since these are refillable, you may be able to find a blue ink refill if you're um, on team blue ink. Now let's show you how they refill. You just pull the two halves apart and then the refill will unscrew and that's it. It's very simple. And I'll get a measurement on that for you. It's four and a half inches. There's what the refill looks like. So you can get shopping and see if you can find a blue refill if you want a blue, or if you just wanna stock up on some black refills when you purchase these pens. I do not have information about whether or not Erin Condren will sell the refills on these.
Now there's that little rose gold ring on it, so you wanna be careful not to lose that. Um, see, there's the little ring, and so be careful. Now looky here, I just thought I would change up their outfits a little bit. So you can make them um, two-tone if you want to by just swapping out one top with the other. I think that's kind of cute actually. <laughs> um, that's a fun little trick for you. Those are really cute. They're cute and definitely just nice looking for your desk. Um, they're just a pretty pen, lightweight. Uh, if you want to carry one with you in your purse and you don't want to bulk it up, it's, you know, it's not a heavy pen. Okay, so now let's go to a somewhat new pen, which is the gold gel pen, one of my personal favorites. And I have not done a huge review on this, and I thought let's add it to the end of these other new writing tools just so those of you who haven't seen it yet can get a, an up-close look. The thing I love about this pen is that it's so heavy. It feels so substantial and nice. And I use it all the time, and I have bought a whole bunch of refills for it because I haven't had to refill it yet, but I expect I will have to soon because I have used it so much. So it's black ink, and there you go. You can get refills for this on the Erin Condren site, as I said, and here's how they come in a two pack. And I have not had to open one of these yet to replace the ink, but <laughs> I probably will soon. So I went ahead and just stocked up. I went a little bit nuts with the refills because I love the pen so much. Next up is the Silver Sparkle Ballpoint Pen. It's very glittery, clickable, spring-loaded so that you just click the, the bottom of it to extend the ballpoint tip. And it does feel a little bit bumpy in your hand, but if that doesn't bother you, it is a really nice pen. And even though it is a ballpoint pen, the ink is so deep and rich. It writes more like a gel pen in my opinion. And I have questioned whether or not this may be a rollerball pen because rollerballs tend to write like gel pens. But they call it a ballpoint pen. And you can get refills for this pen on the Erin Condren website. I've already used one. Um, and that was for the rose gold version of this that we received in a seasonal surprise box a while back. So I used that one until the ink was all gone. Here it is. And it's the same size pen and the same refill fits it. So if you did get that surprise box, then you can get refills for it on the Erin Condren website. The next pen we'll look at is the Layers Ballpoint Pen. And this one is also available in Colorful Kaleidoscope. And it used to be available in Flower Power, but I was not able to locate one of those today. So those may be sold out. And honestly, I don't write with this one very much. So as I'm writing here, I can see that the ink is clumping a little bit. So I need to clean the tip and try it again. I generally use this pen as a prop because it's just so beautiful on the outside. But like I said, I write with a gel pen more often. So this is writing more cleanly now that I wiped it off. But you know, that just happens when you don't write with a pen very often. But it is a decent ballpoint pen. It's just a really pretty pen and it feels good. Has gold hardware or gold accents. So it writes just like the other thin ballpoint pens. And you can take it apart the same way. You just pull it apart and the refill unscrews like this. It's a four and a half inch refill like the other pens used. And you may be able to find a blue ink refill since this comes with black ink. It just screws back in. 
and it does not have a little ring in the center that you might lose like the thin ballpoint pens do. Now let's talk about the metallic gel pens that Erin Condren recently came out with. So these are three of them, but you can also get them in a pack of more colors. And these three came in the last seasonal surprise box and they write really well. I have used these several times and it's just gel ink that has a shimmer to it. And it's just kind of, it's metallic. And what is cool about these is that you can also, in addition to writing on white planner pages or just stationary, you can also write on darker paper and the color will still pop and shine, especially the silver one I have found. So these are very smooth gliding pens to use and they have a barrel with mid-century circles on the outside. So they're very pretty to look at. And after I finish this, I'll hold it up and just kind of tilt it in the light so you can see the shimmery effect. So those are the metallic gel pens. The last writing tool that we'll take a look at is the new and improved mechanical pencil. I have the gray option here. It also comes in Lagoon. We have had mechanical pencils from Erin Condren in the past, but this one is heavier and more slender. You can see how the lead advances by clicking on the bottom. And if you pull this bottom piece off, there's a tiny little eraser in here. It is a tiny eraser, but at least you can pull it out and advance it if you use up all of the um, eraser. Um, I would recommend using a separate eraser with this, but you do have one in a pinch if you were to use this on the go and you didn't have a separate eraser. And that just slides back on and then you click it to advance the lead and also to push the lead back in. If you just hold that thing down, the little clicker down, you can push the lead back in. And it writes beautifully. I think I should write with pencil more because it's almost like it's pressure sensitive. Um, so yeah, you can just sort of see that you get thicker and thinner strokes depending on the pressure that you use. It's a subtle difference, but Let's do an eraser test so you can see how this little eraser does the job. So it's not the greatest eraser and it's definitely tiny, but it does the job. Not wonderful. So let's pull out a freestanding eraser. Here's an art gum eraser. So there's nothing permanent about that lead. It's just your run of the mill mechanical pencil lead and it will erase just fine. Also, I don't know if Heron Condren still has these, but I have three or four different designs of little rectangular erasers from Erin Condren that all have cute little things written on them like my bad, change is good, oops, stuff like that. So those are nice erasers too. I don't keep mine out in the open air because I don't like them to dry out. I slip them back into the little paper sleeve that they come in when I'm finished using them and that seems to keep them fresh and new. And that's it for the writing tools, but be sure to catch my next video because I'll review the new notebook cover designs and some other accessories from Erin Condren. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.